hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to look what's the difference between comparable and comparator interface so here uh, comparable and comparator both are interfaces and can be used to sort collection elements but there are many differences between comparable and comparator interfaces first of all these two interface comparable if you look comparable belongs to a java.lang package and comparator belongs to the java.util package with respect to method, uh, method uh, comparable you have a only one method is called compare which takes one argument and if you hear comparator comparator is having a lot of method from java 8 onwards so wherever you see the i mean this symbol d so this is a default method from java 8 onwards you can define a default method in interface wherever you see s as a symbol that means these are the static methods so java 8 onwards you can define a static method as well in the interface so all the default as well as static method how we can make use of these methods i have already covered in the java 8 video tutorial so if you want to look how this method works basically uh, in the comparator then you can search on the uh, youtube by writing uh, comparator uh, java 8 uh, apis or method by kk java tutorials you'll get it now there are uh, two abstract methods so here basically uh, if your class implements this interface to sort a collection of uh, basically object then your class has to implement this compare method which accepts basically to two parameters so in comp comparator you have a compare method and in uh, comparable you have a compare to method that's the also difference and apart from that uh, comparator is having a lot of static and default method from java 8 onwards but compare compare comparable is having one, only single method there is no modification in java 8 with respect to comparable that there is modification uh, in the comparator so that's the difference again now let's see how we can uh, we can make use of uh, these interfaces to sort collection of object uh, in java so here uh, you can see i have a uh, created a project let me close this project i want to this is a previous project which we had created so let me close this project and here is the project which just we had we have created oh sorry guys so this is the project which we have created so here you can see i have a client program and here i have a two model class one is employee having three fields public constructor public gator method and finally i have overridden two string method similarly you have a person class with private fields two private fields public constructor public gator method and overridden two string method now if you co come to the client program here uh, here you can see i have created one list uh, employee list and here i have added some employee object right and just we are iterating this employee object right uh, using the uh, for each loop of java 8 right so if you don't know how to use for each loop you can watch my java 8 video tutorials and again i have created a person of uh, list and added some person information and same i am printing over here so before shorting person list and before sorting employee list if i run it then you'll see uh, uh array list always maintains the insertion order in what order we have added the employee same order uh, we are getting while iterating it right so, and you get the records right now thing is that i want to sort a list of employee based on the uh, id then how we can do that so there are two ways you can uh, do these things uh, so first of all i'm going to show you how to use a comparable interface to uh, sort a list of employee based on the id so in that case your class has to modify if you want to use a comparable uh, interface to sort based on the specific property then your class has to modify so make sure your class uh, is uh, is in uh, that is available in your source code if that is available on the somewhere in the jar then you can't modify in that case you will have to go for the another approach is called comparator so we'll see how we can make use of the comparator but first of all we'll use how to make use of the comparable so here i'm going to write implements comparable interface right and i i say as i said this uh, interface belongs to the java.lang package and here i'm going to specify employee so let's make use of generics and here this guy is forcing you to add unimplemented method that is nothing but the compare to right and here we can write the compare logic so here i would say this dot let's say id right so id we can access sorry uh, this dot id 
right directly you can access id or you can say this dot get id dot i would say compare to and i would say uh, let's say this is e i would say e dot get id and this is gonna sort basically based on the id so this is the sorting logic we have used this compare method compare to method is available in the uh, uh, available in the integer class that we are going to make use so this is the basically compare uh, uh, i mean sorting logic we have written now come to here and here once you do this now your object is comparable object right all employee objects basically implements the compare 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 comparable interface now your object is comparable now here uh, i'm going to uncomment this and uh, we are going to make use of uh, one of the utility class utility class method is called uh, sort so here you have a two two overloaded sort method one which takes only list second is the comparator so i'm going to make use of the first one which accepts list so here you can pass any list right so any class which implements list that you can pass it over here now uh, now based on the basically id this collection elements will be sorted if I, if you uh, basically print it then you will see uh, based on the id uh, elements will be printed so let's check it out so if i run this program then you will see so initially the list of employees right in what order order we have added same displayed over here but saying that after sorting employee list based on the id here you can see employees sorted based on the id right and the reason is that my employee class now implements comparable interface and there we have specified the uh, there we have defined the in what uh, uh, order uh, i mean collection of employees should be sorted if you want uh, this should be sorted in decreasing order of employee id then you will have to write simply e dot get id dot compare to this dot get id and that's it you will have to do basically reverse and you'll get employee uh, list of uh, object will be sorted based on the id in the descending order right now now i hope you understood how to make use of the uh, comparable interface now come to the uh, comparable so here basically when you use compare uh, comparable then your class is going to modify right and you can uh, provide a logic to be sorted on the based on the single properties right so that's the uh, uh, limitation with the comparable but sometimes if you have a both employee has a uh, let's say if you are sorting based on the salary right and two employee have a same salary then you would want to sort on the basis of employee name those kind of logic of course you can specify over here but still uh, there will be a only single logic uh, you can specify over here but uh, and uh, your class is going to modify right if your class is a part of jar then you don't have control to mod go and modify right in that case comparator is very useful now we are going to look how we can perform the sorting logic uh, basically using the comparator now uh, here a list of uh, person we are displaying uh, uh, in what order that is inserted now we want to sort based on the uh, based on the basically let's say id right so here uh, you can create a separate class and uh, here i just say in package sort and i use say uh, sort version by id right and here uh, this is going to implement a comparator interface right comparator interface and we'll use generic i would say person right and here uh, this is forcing me to overwrite uh, this uh, method which is available in the, your basically person class uh, sorry available in the comparator interface now here we can uh, specify the comparison logic so here i would say o dot uh, let's say get id and again compare to method which is available on the integer class i2 i would say uh, o2 dot get id right and we are done now this uh, comparator uh, th this sorting class you will have to pass uh, while calling the sort method now we have a in collections class 
collections class we have a sort method right so sorry sort method is takes two arguments first list and second is the comparator so the, this list partial list i'm going to pass it over here and second argument would be the object of your uh, sorting class so new i would say sort person by id and we are done if you iterate uh, now list of person then we'll find this will be sorted based on the uh, based on the uh, person id right so here you will have to say uh, not emp but uh, uh, personal list sorry personal list you will have to do now let's check it out the output if i run this class then here you can see uh, now before sorting person is coming like this but after sorting here you can see uh, that is sorted based on the id so this is uh, another way to sort uh, based on the specific property using comparator now uh, here i have created a separate class uh, to perform a sorting logic based on the uh, person id but sometimes you can use anonymous class as well so how we can use anonymous class let's say now i want to sort based on the employee name sorry person name then how we can do that then here i would do something like this uh, collection again i'm going to use collections dot sort and I'm going to use this constructor which takes first as the a person list as an argument and here I'm not going to create a separate class to sort by person name so here we can create an anonymous class for comparator interface right comparator interface sorry so I would say comparator interface so this is the way to basically uh, create a anonymous class for any interface so now we'll have to override uh, this method right so we haven't created a separate class and here you will have to specify the logic i would say one dot get name right and dot compare to method which is available in the string class i would say o2 dot get name and now this will sort based on the uh, employee name uh, sorry person name and same we can print it over here right so at this time shorting will happen on the employee uh, sorry person based on the person name so if i run it then let's have a uh, let's check it out the output so initially uh, uh, you can see uh, employee list of employee and after that employee was sorted which are this, which we have seen earlier using comparable and here person was inserted in same order you get the elements and here person is sorted based on the id and finally we want a person list of persons should be sorted based on the ascending order of its name and that is coming as a sending order here you can see so this is also a way to basically use a, a list of object uh, using a anonymous class you can create an anonymous class and same code you have you can create in the separate class as well right so this is basically reusable right you can use in the many places but uh, if you use on if you create anonymous class for comparator this cannot be reusable right this will be used only once right so that's the difference basically now i hope you understood what's the difference between uh, comparator and comparable and every aspects we have uh, uh, basically compared right so if you want a sorting to be happen on the multiple properties then comparator would be the appropriate choice if you want a sorting should happen on the single properties then comparable it would be the choice right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys this code i am going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description part itself uh, in this video we have seen a sort method right short overloaded method short method which accepts list of uh, elements and sort method which accepts list of elements and second argument as a comparator right so guys big thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well